right, this is Julia Laje, bass player from Vixen. I'm Richie Cotton, and you are watching The Metal Voice. Hello, this is Andre, and you're watching The Metal Voice. Rock on. Yeah! What's happening, everyone? This is Neil Turbin, and you're watching The Metal Voice. And we're here at Rock for Ronnie with the one, the only, Andre yeah. LaJoy. <laughs> Did I say it right? No, nobody can. Okay, let me try it again. <laughs> Andre LaJoy. Lagu. Okay, I'm going to try it again. <laughs> Andre Lagu. All right. Never. It's never going to happen. So we well, we to... tried three times, but Andre, it's, yeah. you look beautiful. It's so nice to see you. Thank you, Neil. And Thank you for... You're such an awesome singer because, I mean, we heard you today at Rock for Ronnie. And also, the other day, you were jamming with uh, Doug Aldrich and Glenn Sobel in the rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was amazing. Thank you for having me. And it's like a, an honor to be here, actually, in L.A. with you guys and rocking the stages. And, you know, pass the message to the people. Rock and roll. We're here for a good cause, for the dead and the living, and to make this world a little bit more beautiful. And, Andre, if you guys don't know, you should know because Andre was one of the contestants on The Voice in Greece, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah, a few years ago, uh, I was on The Voice of Greece. It was a blast. It went viral worldwide. It was great. And I'm glad for this experience. But we have more going on. We have more things going on. Uh, I have my, my upcoming album. You have out. a new album that's out, yeah. Yes, Skies. Skies is out, finally. I'm so grateful. We charted the NACC number 10. Uh, we charted... Uh, like in America, it's going great. I'm really glad that I did it with my producer and sound engineer. He's right behind Jay Rustin. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful to be here. And, and you came a long way too. Tell us where you, you're, you came here from. Yeah, I came from Greece actually. I came all the way from Greece to perform here. Wow, so. well, wow. look at those eyes. Holy smokes, look at that. <laughs> Finally, you sparkling. can see my eyes. <laughs> She's sparkling. I'm sparkling, I'm it's, glowing. It's like a light in the dark. as. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so so tell us about your band. You have a band. Also, you've been touring, and you're on you're coming you're on a tour coming up, right? The Kings of Thrash with Dave Ellison yes. and, uh, and and uh, and 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 Jeff Young, Jeff Young, and yeah. and and more and, and, and more more people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is gonna happen in October in the UK. Uh, I'm supporting uh, David Ellison. They're gonna play all the Megadeth uh, songs from Euthanasia and stuff. I'm gonna play my songs. I call it the Mystery Store coming from the mistress of the night, of course. And for the people who don't know, it's about women in power, you know, that women can do things also in the business. They sure can, and you can really do things. In fact, you did a video called My Love. I saw that video and yes. it was I was quite uh, impressed with the song and the video. So tell us about that. Where'd you shoot that and uh, where can people find that? Uh, it's a power ballad. Actually, they can find it online on YouTube, like Andre, My Love, they can find the video. Uh, it's in the snow. I actually got a frostbite while filming it. So, ouch, <laughs> ouch yeah. But it's worthwhile because uh, we finally made it, and uh, it's about a love story. You know, I have a love story. I have a powerful stories inspired by many topics and you know, and, and spectrums in life. That's so cool. And um, so, so you got the the Kings of Thrash tour. Now you also just did a tour over there in Europe. In January, the, I did the Mistress Benelux store, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, for those who don't know. Uh, and it was great. I'm, I'm really glad I did it. I have some cool videos out live and it's all live, okay? Nothing is edited. It's how we play it exactly. We keep the, I keep personally keep the mistakes, I don't mind. Because this was makes you human. Makes you human, a musician, uh, a, a, a soul maker. You know, we're soul makers. That's what we do. And, uh, Very profound. Yeah, yeah, in September, I'm co-headlining at a festival in Belgium also, the Queens of Metal. That's nice. nice also. And whatever comes up, you know, I'm posting it online. There are a few things coming up also. I'm working on the big US tour, by the way. That would be great if this happens. Well, I'm sure it will because you're yeah. awesome. And tell us about on your album, Skies. Now, you've had some people, some named people on that album. I mean, you've got like the drummer from Uriah Heep and Billy yeah. Sheehan and who else is on the album? Tell us about that. I I got, I got Billy Sheehan on a song playing for me that was amazing and Billy thank you if you're watching this <laughs> I know you appreciate what I do and I, you know that I love you too um, I got yeah Russell Gilbrook from Uriah Hip he played the drums Mike Lepon from Symphony X 
uh, Stephen Platt from, um, Jesus, um, I forget his name. That's all right, this happens yeah. to us during interviews, oh, only. Yeah. We always uh, remember De it every yeah, other time. Yeah, Devin Townsend, yeah. Wow. Cor Corbin Bat from Uli John Roth. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I got a few nice names out there. Jay Russell makes the album, Paul Logos Master. So I got a, a big team uh, working, making this record, making my dreams come true, basically, and my orchestrations and my riffs. And when it comes to fruition, it's like, it's unbelievable, because I feel like there's something great happening, you know? Like this, this what I had in mind, it's a small little grain of sand. Now it's a big tree, you know? And we got footage of you today playing, singing on the on the stage there. So I mean, you're awesome. Thank you. And I got footage from the other night at the rehearsal, wow. which is cool. Yeah, Neil, so, you know how much I appreciate you, and well, I love I do, you, and man. I, and you I love like... you back, and you're amazing, Andre. And it's just cool that we're standing here on the same soil because where we live, both is miles and oceans apart, but we can come together and be here at, to rock for Ronnie. Yeah. So tell me what Ronnie James Dio meant, means to you, or, or did you ever get to meet Ronnie, or? Unfortunately, I haven't. I went to his his grave, and um, what I could do basically is that I'm not gonna bring him flowers or any of that, you know, basic stuff. I got him my CD, which means a lot because without his powerful meaning, I I wouldn't be making music. I wouldn't be doing this. So I owe this man a lot of, you know, of my personality, my singing, my my empowerment, and whatever I'm trying to to promote and show to people that you can do it. This is the day, today, not tomorrow, you know? And this guy had so much love and, and he was a, a guy that believed in God. I do believe in God. He made me believe in God, like my grandma. And we're here, you know, for the, the people that passed from cancer and that, that actually hurt, you know? So, but we're here to honor them and to keep the memory alive and I feel like my grandma is here right now wherever she is I feel Dio is with me right now and they're not forgotten there are amongst us but we just can see them you know well that's lovely and uh, you know the word Dio of course in Latin means God right God, yeah so I mean I'm sure that was not a coincidence when he got the name but yeah maybe everything happens for a reason that's what I believe and uh, We'll see them all in the skies, you know? That's, and that's what your album, yeah. Yes, that's what this is all about. Well, thank you, Andre. This is thank so you wonderful. So much. And we got Richie Kotzen and Julia Lage. Can you believe it? Yeah. You guys came all the way from Brazil and. Well, here. Yeah. From here. They came all the way from here. Yeah. Five minutes. But you guys were somewhere else, so you had to come from there to here. Yes. 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 So and then we're going to go somewhere after this. Yeah, see, they're going to keep rocking every day, all the time. So uh, it's so uh, an honor to have you here because. I mean, you guys are both phenomenal artists yourself. Thank you. And and I saw you, Richie, when you played over at Pasadena. The old was the Rose. The Rose, yeah. Yeah, it was an amazing yeah. show. It was and a nice room. Yeah. Yeah, and, I like and, playing there. It's and, over now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's but, bad. And and Julia being with Vixen and that touring was Vixen, yeah. and playing, of course, today at the, the Rock for Ronnie, Ronnie James Dio, and Dio Cancer Fund. So tell me, uh, Richie, I know that you've, uh, you know, you play with the Winery Dogs, and I know that, uh, I guess. Um, the drummer's now busy back into Dream Theater, so yeah. so what's going on with the winery dogs? Are you guys going to be doing some more shows uh, anytime in the no. on the radar screen? No, um, for the reasons that you just pointed out. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to be going on tour with my trio. Okay. We played a, a warm up, two warm up shows this weekend, and on June 2nd we fly to Europe, and we've got six weeks of shows, um, some of my own shows some festivals uh, I think I'm opening for ZZ Top on one evening and Extreme wow. on another evening wow. and so some very exciting stuff for me yeah and then sure for anyone I'm home uh, putting out a new album on September 14th congratulations that's great amazing album by the way thank right. you yeah. and uh, and then I'm gonna do two months worth of touring in the United States that's amazing Richie and so um, so you all used to so Julia I mean god I, I gotta figure out which question so, so Richie, you used to play in Poison. Ah, uh, we don't talk about that. Okay. That's old news. That's but like nearly 30 years ago. I know, but I'm, you know, like, some on. people want to ask that Julia question. Julia has much more interesting things to talk okay, about. Okay, so we talk about Vixen. So, so tell us about joining Vixen. What's, what's well, it's been two years and a half now. We released a song brand new with a new formation called Red. It's out, and we're touring. You know, summer is busy for us. It's gonna be good. 
Also, I play bass on Smith Cotton, which Smith is Cotton, Richie absolutely. and Adrian Smith. They have an amazing project. So, if you want to talk about new stuff, yeah, yeah. they also wrote and an Smith. album. And I don't know when you're going to be releasing, but there's something coming probably in the future. So, that's well. a, so, so Richie, that's an album number two for Smith Cotton? Uh, it would be, yeah. And Julia um, played some songs with Adrian and I. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, um, we're still in the infantile stages of figuring out uh, what's going to be. Of, you know of that but uh, it looks like there will be some stuff coming in the foreseeable future so Fun. I'm excited about that yeah. that's awesome that's so so cool so you guys just you just did a show last night at the Canyon Club didn't you yes yeah so we did two warm-up shows this weekend Friday and Saturday here in uh, Southern California and that was to set up for the upcoming touring that I'm about to go. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you kind of kind of like uh, before you take it out on the road kind of thing. Just to make sure that I can still do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we know you can. He can. <laughs> and I had the pleasure of uh, actually playing with Julia today and also in rehearsal. So yeah. I must say that your yeah. your tone is excellent. Like, you know, like when you, we hear, you hear the bass in the room, it's like very solid bass tone and a solid bass well, player. You have to know how to put the bass, the volumes and, and, and cut through the mix. When you get the, the, the gag to cut through the mix, you don't need to be loud. You just learn that. I like but that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you have to cut through the mix because bass is a tricky instrument. It can be very pretty easy. But. So I don't want to keep you guys too long because I know that we're all hungry and you this is a show. Hungry. You did a show today, a show yesterday. It's like show after show after show. So I just wondered, like, any, any um, interactions or memories of Ronnie James Dio since we're here at Rock for Ronnie? I never had the uh, honor of meeting him, but, you know, I played his music right. when I was a youngster and I had my my first couple of bands. We always played Dio songs. And, and your um, singer was amazing, right? Yeah, and well, I had, there were, uh, my well, she had passed away, yeah. but uh, Alyssa Anderson was my the singer that sang with me. And she sang just like Ronnie Dio, but she also wow. could sing Aretha Franklin, too. Oh, that's yeah. bad. So it was a really crazy thing. Yeah. But, um Dio is one of my favorites of all time, you know, uh, as far as the uh, singers, you know. Oh, cool. And when I was very young, I used to try to sound like him. Wow. So there's probably some remnants uh, in my style today that comes from listening to Ronnie James Dio. For sure. And, and how about you, Julia? What about Ronnie Dio for me, you? forever. And I remember playing the bass lines because when I start playing bass, like Holy Diver, and I, dun -dun -dun -dun, and I was like, oh, my God, I got to play this song. And lately, later in life, I was singing as well, and the tone that he had, and then the passion and the power, it was always, I mean, an inspiration, no matter what. Like, the whole sound of the band, he's sounding, voicing, I mean, it's amazing. And I, and I just have- Somebody's calling me, I'm sorry, so I'm getting- That's okay. Back I have to ask you, Richie, because, you know, you talked about inspirations and, and Ronnie Dio. I just wondered, you know, some of your inspirations that are maybe not necessarily in the rock genre, or, yeah. or really some of the fundamental uh, singers that have been a huge influence and maybe some of and as a guitar player also you're a phenomenal guitar oh, so so I mean that's another like you're multi you're like an MVP because you got all of it you know you can you could be the whole band if you play drums so he does play drums see there you are <laughs> he plays everything yeah you know the influences um, I grew up listening to a lot of R&B music you know Parliament Funkadelic Sly and the Family Stone of course Prince is probably my favorite artist of okay. all time so I do have probably more influence from that world than the actual hard rock world yeah. that's cool but uh, well equal you know it's, it's this and that so that's kind of where you know and then in the rock world it's you know Black Sabbath Iron Maiden ACDC so I, I, I got to cover Dio <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what about in, in terms of like progressive bands or any of the bands yeah, like that you know like Return to Forever I, I was lucky I was able to play with Stanley Clark you know, so uh, uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, Intermounting Flame, I had that record. I had some of the fusion records at Dixie Dregs. Yeah. yeah. I listened to Steve Boris was an influence for me as a guitar player when I was very young. So, um, yeah. And, kind of and then I guess along with all of that goes blues, right? Because that's also kind of in the I package. I love blues. I respect blues. I was influenced a lot more by funk and R&B. Okay. Which, of course, comes from, from blues. Uh, but, you know, um, I love blues as well. Uh, I, I didn't really grow up as a blues uh, aficionado. I would more be into the Motown, you know, yeah. soul, Sam and Dave, yeah. Sam Cooke, Smokey Robinson. That's kind of more 
where I would be coming from. So I don't know if I if, if this was touched upon, but is there a new album in the in the process? Yeah, that's, yeah. He's done. He yeah. just finished. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the problem. He just she she had to be tortured by the creation of this thing because I'm constantly making yeah. noise. No, it's good. But we both write music. We both record music with two musicians. So yeah. it's fine. It's good. It's a Julia, musical house. Julia is a great songwriter in her own right. And so what happens sometimes is I play something. Like one time I was doing a harmony. She came running downstairs. She said, what are you doing? That's wrong. It's this. And she sang the right harmony. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I got, somehow, I, you know, I got lost in what I was doing. She heard That's me. Cool. She saved me. Well, we're both you guys are a team. That's what it's about. We're a team. We're a team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. I mean, um, is there is there a, a title for the album that's out there yet? Or Yeah, it is. But I don't want to say because I might change it. Okay. Yeah, well. uh, is there a song title that you have? That's... Uh, well, the first single is Cheap Shots. That's out right now. It okay. just released. Is there Check an, out the video. Is there another song that Julia's playing on that we can know the title? or is that? I'm playing on Smith Cots and not his solo. Oh, oh you're not playing yeah. on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least we clarified. Yeah. Exactly. You know. But you just write the songs sometimes yeah. for him. She writes her own I, I'm releasing my own music too. That's I'm about awesome. to come up with my first full album. I have a few singles that are already released. Actually, next Wednesday I'm shooting a video, so all good stuff. You guys are busy. Yeah, we're maybe, busy. maybe Vixen can get Richie to come out and maybe. hang out and play some stuff. Yeah, yeah, maybe Richie can get Vixen. Yeah, that'd be good too. One way or the other. You guys should talk. It'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much.